Hello and welcome to Skills Miner Aerospace, the latest Minecraft games lessons from Ingenuity, built by block builders, supported with lessons developed by Tablet Academy. This is game three, making sustainable fuel. Once you've loaded up the game and started it, you'll see you arrive here in our scientific lab. On the wall to your side, you'll see there is the periodic table built out of elements in Minecraft Education Edition. So feel free to have a look at that. When you're ready, head over here to our first NPC. An NPC is a non-player character. There are lots of these throughout the game. You can interact with them by walking up to them and then right clicking on them. This NPC will welcome you to the chemistry lab and tell you that today you're going to be creating different types of fuel for an aeroplane. You have three options. You've got sustainable aviation fuel or SAF. You have hydrogen or a lithium battery. You'll be learning about the different types of energy and finding out more about aviation. Head through the doors for the next step. So to your left, there are a set of doors you walk through. And in this room, you will see that there are more doors over here and also some other NPCs to interact with. So we have our next task NPC here. But first, I'm going to show you about some of the other NPCs we have in this room. So spread around the room are these characters who all have a different job role involved in this area of aviation. So, for example, we have our electrical engineer. To the left of them is a board which has information about ways in, relevant school subjects, key skills and the habitat where this person is likely to work. You can then find out more about the job specifically by right clicking on the NPC. They will give you further information about what their job involves. So if you just take a minute now to go and talk to and interact with each of the NPCs here that will tell you about different job roles. When you are ready, we will meet over here at our task NPC. But for now, interact with those NPCs and then come back here. Now you should have spoken to all of the NPCs in the room that will talk about jobs in this industry. Now we're ready to begin the task. So you can right click on the task NPC here, who will explain that behind each door is a different fuel type that you will be making. Pick which one you want to try and then head into that room. Each type is made in a different way and maybe you'll be constructing an element or breaking down an existing item to see what it's made of. Go ahead and pick your door. So we have three doors in here. We've got our hydrogen laboratory. We have our sustainable aviation fuel laboratory and we have our lithium battery construction. The idea here is that depending on the amount of time you have, it will depend on how many games you play. So if you, for example, choose to play the hydrogen game, that may take you the whole lesson and that will be the only game you play. Or if you choose to do all three, if you have enough time, you may be able to fit all of that in. Or if you're playing in your class, you may be divided into different groups with each group doing a different version of the fuel. I'm going to do a brief walkthrough of each one so that you understand what's happening, but without giving away too many of the answers either. So we'll start with our hydrogen laboratory. So you head in here. To your right, you have a did you know NPC. There are lots of these across the game and those NPCs will give you different facts around chemistry, around fuel and around aviation. So this one here is talking about hydrogen and explains that it is the chemical element with the symbol H and atomic number one and so on. So make sure you're reading each of the did you know NPCs as you go along. But when we're ready to begin, we'll click on our hydrogen task NPC over here and they will tell you that you're going to be finding out about and making hydrogen. It's the most abundant chemical substance in the universe. It's also the lightest element in the periodic table. To begin, we need you to go and get some water. Click on the button for the next step. So when you click go, you'll be transported to a different area entirely. And in front of you, you will have another task NPC. Click on them and they will tell you that you need to use the bucket button below to get a bucket and collect some water. Once you have returned here, you can click next step to continue. So click on the button that says bucket. And as a little hint here, I would get quite a lot of buckets because you might need more than you think, 
even more than I have in my hand right now. When you're ready, you can head down to a water source and look at the water and just right click with your bucket to get some water. So you can right click on them and then click next step to be taken into this room. So again, we have another fact NPC that you can read about and then we have our instructions here. So this NPC is telling you to place the water into this material reducer to see what elements make water. Then to take out all of those elements, put them into your inventory and then go to the next step. So in Education Edition, there are lots of interesting items and this is the material reducer. So if you put your water into the top one here, you will then get 64 hydrogen, 3 hydrogen and 33 oxygen and your bucket back as well. So just for the sake of the game, I will put in all of the water and I will collect all of the elements. Now I'm ready to go to the next step. I can click on here and click next step and I will be taken in here to a hydrogen fuel cell. If you look out the window, you'll see that we have an airplane over here and we have the engine and the turbine. The aim of this game is to power this turbine to spin. So in order to do that, we need to take our elements and put them in the fuel cell. So you have an NPC here who will speak to you to give you some instructions and they'll talk about how you have hydrogen and oxygen and you can place them into the fuel cell behind you. You have to climb up the stairs, read the instructions, and when it's all done correctly, you'll be able to see the turbine spin. You can also explore the room to find out more about how it works. So there are different signs all over the place, and this one also provides the hint that I gave that you may need more than you think in order to get this running properly. Also, in the back corner, there is an NPC here who will take you back to the very beginning of the chemistry lab. So we will climb our stairs head up here and this is where we are going to be putting our elements into the fuel cell so you right click on this and then you put all of your elements in like so and then to turn it on you click the lever here and that activates the fuel cell so now you can climb up here to see what is going on and you'll be able to see the different elements that are being dropped into here and they're being separated into their hydrogen and their oxygen, just like a real fuel cell. What we want is for these chests to be full enough to change all of this down here so that the torches go dark. So both of these torches need to be dark in order for that turbine to be spinning. And in order for those torches to be dark, we need to have enough hydrogen and oxygen going in to the right places. So when you click on the chest here, you can see all of the hydrogen going down like so and the oxygen. So this may take longer than you think it's going to take and you may need more elements and more water than you think you're going to need. So if you feel like you don't have quite enough and it's not going to work, you can click on the NPC in the corner to go all the way back to the beginning and do the task again by getting extra elements. All of this will still be saved in here for you. You just need to add a few more. Then to find out about how the fuel cell works, you can head up here, but beware that when you enter this door, you will lose all items in your inventory. So in here, you can see if we click on our hydrogen box, for example, we have lots of hydrogen in there. And then if we click on our oxygen box, we have slightly less oxygen in here. So that's it being filtered out through our fuel cell. So I'm not going to give you any more hints or tips here. You now have to get enough hydrogen and oxygen to power the fuel cell. And when you do that, the turbine over here will start spinning. And that's how you know you have done everything correctly. I'm now going to head back to the very beginning to move on to the next power source. If this is the only power source that you're working with for now, you won't need to watch the rest of the video. However, if you are working with a different power source or want to continue on, you can go to the next step. So we'll click on this NPC here and that will take us back to the beginning, back to our chemistry lab and we'll head through our doors. And the next one we are going to look at is Sustainable Aviation Fuel or SAF for short. So we head in to this room and again we have a did you know that will explain a little bit more about SAF. 
And to begin the game, once you've read the Did You Knows, you can interact with the task NPC here who tells you how you're going to be creating stuff. And that is a fuel produced through contemporary processes from biomass rather than geological processes involving the formation of fossil fuels. Biomass is the raw material the fuel is made of, such as wood logs. So you need now to go and collect biomass by clicking the button. So we click our button here. And again, we're teleported to another area with another task NPC. This NPC tells you you need to collect some wood logs from the trees and some water, which will break down to make SAF. So use the bucket button below to get a bucket and then get some water and some wood. And once you have these, head back to the NPC. So now click on the NPC and click go back to go to the next room. In here you have two task NPCs. So your first one will explain that you need to place the logs in the material reducer next to them and take out all of the carbon elements and then place the water in the material reducer and take out the hydrogen elements. Once you have your carbon and your hydrogen, you'll use the compound creator to create SAF. You need nine carbon and 20 hydrogen. So that's the important part here. You're going to open your material reducer, put in your oak log. You can take out all of the elements if you wish. And then you're going to put in your water bucket and again, take out all of your elements. And we're going to go to our compound creator over here and right click on it. And so we need nine carbon. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we need 20 hydrogen. So I'm just going to break it down like so. So I've got 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And that creates our fuel over here. So click on the fuel and put it in your inventory, get all your elements out of the compound creator, and then you're ready for the final step. So you click on this NPC here, click go, and that will teleport you to this room. So outside, you can see we've got our airplane and we have our engine here and the turbine that we need to power. So by putting fuel in here, you'll be able to make the turbine spin down there. We have an NPC who will explain it. who will say, well done, I'm getting the fuel. Now place it in the item hopper and that will power the turbine on the plane engine behind them. So over here you have your hopper and all you need to do is just right click one. And then you've got fuel in there and the turbine is now powered. So that is the sustainable aviation fuel part of the game. If you're just playing this part of the game, then you don't need to watch the video any further. However, I'm now going to go back to the start and do the lithium battery. So to go back to the start, we head over here, click on this NPC, and that will take us right back to the beginning of the chemistry lab. So the third and final fuel we'll be looking at today is actually a battery so you're going to be creating a lithium battery so head into this room and you can see there are lots of boards with elements all around them you can head over here we have an element constructor and then we have our lithium task npc so right click on them and they'll tell you that you need to make lithium iron oxygen phosphorus and silicon using the element constructor have a look on the walls to find out how to make each one. Once you have them all, click the button to go build a battery. So I'm not going to show you how to build any of them. I'm just going to click on the element constructor and show you here that you can adjust your protons, electrons and neutrons like so. And when you get the right number, you'll be able to create an element that will pop up here. And you just need to click on that to put it into your inventory. So you need to do this for each of the elements around here. You've got clues on the boards about how to construct each element and some other things that should give it away. So you can pause the video here, make sure that you do make lithium, iron, oxygen, phosphorus and silicon. Once you are ready, head over to your lithium NPC, click on them and then click go. So by this point, you should have your lithium, iron, oxygen, phosphorus and silicon by using the element constructor to make those. And we're ready for the next step. So you click on go and that will bring you into this room here. So behind the glass, you can see that there is an airplane and we have our plane engine and the turbine. 
the aim is to power this turbine. So by building a battery, you'll be creating power source for the turbine over here. To begin, we'll click on our lithium task NPC, who will congratulate you on getting all of the elements, so lithium, iron, oxygen, phosphorus, and silicon. Now you're going to use those elements to create a battery and power the plane turbine. Behind me, you can find out about your next step. So we'll head over here, and as you can see, we've got a big blank space where it says build your battery in here. And behind us, we have something that looks suspiciously like a battery. So before you begin, click on the next lithium task NPC, who will tell you that you need to build the battery using the diagram on the wall as a guide. In the chests next to the guide, you'll find the last of the items that you need. Once you've correctly built the battery, the turbine on the plane outside will start to spin. So as you can see here, you have all of the elements that you have just created using your element constructor, plus a few extra materials. So in here, you will find your separators and your current collectors, and you can read about those on these boards here, and you'll be able to open your chests to get separators and to get your current collectors. And then over here, you'll find more instructions. So you've got your anode current collector, your anode, your separator, your cathode, and your cathode current collector. So what you need to do is use those materials that you have created and use the materials you have found from the chest to recreate this on the battery here, and then flick the switch to start the circuit breaker that will then cause the turbine to start moving. Good luck making your battery. We hope you enjoyed the game. That is the final part of the Making Sustainable Fuel game. If at any point you want to start again or you want to go back through and maybe you didn't get to do all three of the different types of fuels, you can just find your NPC in the corner of your room that will say back to start, click on that, and you can start all over again. Thank you very much.